patience. I didn't have patience. Okay. I was never patient. Mm. You understand? Uh, I'm this kind of thing like, no, I don't take bullshit. Mm. No. You understand? Mm. Patience. So I would advise the upcoming, you, you know, the youth, the younger ones that whatever they are facing in their marriages, that they should please have patience and believe in their marriage, in their partner. They should pray with them and help them. But I didn't have that. Mm. Hello, my people. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we get one touching story from our talented Yoruba actress, Lola Lao. Now, make we dive into a journey of love, lessons, and hope for the future, you know? Recently, for one interview with Bola Adebayo, Lola talked about her past marriage and the wahala way she faced. She talked see her relationship with her ex-husband who last well, and she said that because she no figure patience. Lola share and say, I get only one picking with my ex-husband because our marriage no last long. She says she be person we love to get plenty children. I dream that to build big family with her husband, but things things no go as she planned. Lola allows to in a sweet reminder say even after heartbreak, break, it is always room for a new beginning and dreams. If you believe say third chance is day, drop your comment below, make we hear your thoughts. And as you watch this video reach end, don't forget to like and subscribe for more inspiring stories. Though for the video, everything she talk, now Yoruba language is youth talk am. So maybe no long team. Here now the video. See ya. Uh, mommies and daddies and the youth, we have all sorts. So we have the pause, the bag. But I don't have any cause to regret and I'm grateful to God. Mm. Thank God. I'm, yeah, At least I work for myself and I pay stuff. So I'm not working for anybody. In, in Canada, you mm -hmm. see my... Yeah. My... Uh, my uh, uh, chamber. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ah, am as, well, I know you have a lot of biological children, and then I mean a lot of adopted children. Because I have yes, only one have child. One child. A biological child. child. So for you, what 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 led to that? Is it that you didn't want, or because there was a break in marriage, or there was a fertility mm -hmm. issue? At any it wasn't fertility issue. Okay. It was a break in marriage. Mm. Yeah, I love children. I don't know, maybe because um, God, you know, God has a, I, initially. You see, I thought because when I sit down and I think about my life, the I mean, what has my past? Yeah, like, can you only hear what I was saying? If only I can rewind. You understand? Maybe it should have been the other way around. Because I love children, I thought by now I will have me, my children, you know, as in my biological children, my husband, everybody. But you know. Um, when you wish, I tell you, yeah, no, 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 mm. no, it's okay. So, like, for you, um, what has marriage taught you, marriage in particular, because I'm still coming to other Yeah, things. patience. Yeah. I didn't have patience. Okay. I was never patient. Mm. You understand? Uh, I'm this kind of thing, like, no, I don't take bullshit. Mm. No. You understand? Mm. Patient. So I would advise the upcoming, you, you know, the youth, the younger ones that whatever they are facing in their marriages, that they should please have patience and believe in their marriage, in their partner. They should pray with them and help them. But I didn't have that. Mm -hmm. If you have... So, uh, ah, no, 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 no. I don't have that kind of patience. Man, I don't take shit. Well, it's not it's not like that. So you know why? Because me, Lola, I'm a very caring person. I'm a very see lovable person. When it comes to my husband, except if I've had two failed marriages, right? So when it comes to my husband, I, I bring myself down because that's what my mother does. I bring myself down, I go to the kitchen, I cook, I take care of my men. But it's just a so you know. Doing all that, and you, still, you don't appreciate it, you give me bullshit, and I don't cheat on you, and you give me bullshit, I tell you to get out. Mm. You understand? Mm. Well, if, if 
if saying that because i know a lot of women a lot of independent women are actually in your shoes mm -hmm. you know because um they have so much to offer they are busy oh. they are doing so well for the man and then the man still gets to offer this how you do don't you understand you should handle it ah. because with what you say knowing yeah, you be know, the know. Patient. yeah because me okay i was very nice to my ex-husband i was caring I I give him all the respect he deserves, but you know when he cheats and he cheats to my face, quick little fashion, you understand? I said, get out. I said, maybe I would have been patient, but I don't have any regrets you know, concerning that. Talking about being patient, mm. how do you think you would have done it better? Okay, what I'm saying is that when I talk about being patient, if I was patient with my first husband, mm. I wouldn't have made the second mistake. He was a very good man to me. I don't care whatever he says when, out of annoyance, you understand, when I left him, he was angry. He said some unpredictable things about me. But me, Lola, I will say the truth. Darry was a very good man, nice man, caring man. He, he was nice to me. That was why when he was running his mouth, I could not say anything. I was just like, let God be the judge. It was no laranta. You understand? I, I, I would have been, yeah, of course I did. Because I mean, it's so You understand? Mm. I, I don't lie. Mm. Sorry, my first, my second marriage, I have a bad mistake. Blonde than you will commit my doing that. Mm. But you see, my first husband, I will still say it is the best man any woman can get married to. Mm. But it's just that he's very temperamental. When he's angry, oh, yeah, to bad be no, bad be no. But he's a very good man. If you have the opportunity of going back to him, would you? I don't know, I can't answer that question. <laughs> but he was the best man, sure. Among them, among everybody that I've known, that Yogilano is the best person that I've come across in my life. Sir, that Yogilano, God bless you, sir. <laughs> we appreciate you. At least, you know, I keep... You know, I you. can never, never run him down, no matter what. Man. But he believes that. Ah, he used to tell my daughter, your mommy left me. Your mommy doesn't like me. He's a liar. He's a good man. Mm -hmm. I, 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 keep, I keep saying that. I advocate for this. When a man is good, it does not mean there will be no mistakes. Of course. Mm -hmm. So, when the man is good, please, let's say it. Let's be let's, patient. Let's yeah, me, I'm a very blunt person. I say know. the truth. You understand? Dari, I know, was a very good man to me. Mm. Very good, very kind, you know, very honest. Mm. You understand? But when he's angry, he doesn't know his limits. He said things that he's not, you know, like when I left him, he said that sort of unpredictable things about me that was not true, that was not real. But I understand. Then Tomba no Lahanta, you understand, because he really liked me. Aww. This is our point, Jerry. <laughs> 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 I was just joking. I wasn't there with you, so yeah. I can't feel what you felt. Mm. So. It's okay. I just, I just know that um, God will continue to give you peace. Amen. And wherever he is, we also want him to know that we appreciate. Oh, I do. <laughs> okay. So now let's go to your um, adopted children. Yeah. Um, um, they are grown. They are grown. They are on their own now. Children. Yeah. How was that for you? Oh. Especially at that time, you know, it was not, it was not pre-planned. Of course, you knew maybe it was going to end like that. She was yeah. going to die and everything after a while. But how was shouldering that responsibility? <coughs> I know I was one of the first people to see, to see yeah. her death, remember? So how was it like for you, shouldering that from that time till now, they are still your children, you took very good care of them? <coughs> Sorry, man. So how was that like for you? Uh, you see? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say because they are lovely children. These children adopted me as their mother before she passed already. Mm. They were calling me mommy before she died. You know, in, <coughs> sorry, when she was alive, they used to call me big mommy. Mm. Sorry, before she died, they used to call me big mommy. So later, you know, Aisha never told me she was going to die. I'll still say it. She didn't tell me she was going to die. You see, there was a day we went to meet her at the hospital. She said, I don't want you people to call her big mommy. She's mommy. Mommy, I shall show her. Okay. They won't need, don't call her big mommy. They won't need mommy. Only no. Only she won't change that. She changed that. 
So the kids got used to me as their mommy. Mm, when they called, like yes, that. they called me mommy when she was in the hospital. You understand? They will not say, <laughs> my mommy, their mommy. You understand? Mm, so, mommy, mommy. so that was it. But then let's, it was even the doctor that told that just called me one day and said, um, Lola, you know, your sister will be going anytime soon. What are you planning? Money go where? You understand? Money go where? Money. The, the doctor said, uh, she will be going, we have less than two weeks. I, mean, I, I don't understand. How can you say we have less than two weeks? What are you talking about? Only she didn't tell you money no more. Oh, that older is in there. I have the video. She started laughing. She started kissing the children. She said, Eshe video. Eshe video. Aisha, why am I an entertainer? She died a happy woman. She died a fulfilled mother. She died smiling. No one then I put Japuro Kupo Fiku. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. She died a fulfilled mother because she was able to bring her kids abroad. Because of Sola Mayama Chia in Ninja. You understand? Why disobeyed her mother Chia? Okay, before she died, she told me, Be Lola. But when she now died, I now felt maybe because she was in pain, that was why she said that. How can I be the, the, their mother and be their father? Impossible. You understand? And that was when I now started looking for their father's number. I was not really and close to it. Yeah, any more one at Timope. I was even he the didn't one. Call you. No, no, he didn't call me. I was the one that called. You understand? I got his number through um, what's his name? Ah, Saudi oh. gave me his number. Um, Saudi now he's here too. So he was one that gave me his number. I called him, and we started talking. I introduced him to the children's case worker and all that. Before I knew it, everything just turned around. I became an enemy. Was he here then? No, he's never been here. Okay. Yeah, Korea. yeah. Before I knew it, he took us to court. It took you to court. Ah, she will more cook on. No, no, no. It was a long time. No. But we settled it, Sha, because after everything, we should check out my Baba Pamo. So that's why the father he lied on me and all that. I still allowed them to because I cannot be I, you don't understand. I have the sorry money bear where I fear God. In, I don't know, people that are really that are really close to me, they know that I cannot hurt a fly. It's not because we are talking on the screen now. Me, I I, and the children, they don't want to talk to their father. I keep begging them. They said, no, this, that. I told them, see, nobody can love you like your father. Mm -hmm. So when he now turned against me, he said, she, we told you. We told you, I mean, you did not listen. But after that, we, we, you know, after the case, we went to court another, we came back, we settled it. You understand? It may not work me. It didn't be. Now, that was when he now told me that he's sorry, that he didn't want this. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. So, mm -hmm. I just wanted these children to be happy. You understand? So, but it's okay. It's in the past now. They are, they are grown. Mm. They are That's adults. That's what you them now. I feel yeah. fulfilled. I feel happy. Yeah. They are okay. At what point did you get to know that um, Ataisha Bibola was that sick? That was that. when I invited, you know, I have them. Um, this, um, okay, what really made Aisha to give me her children, I'll tell you. You know, my foundation fight for children. You understand? So I did a, 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 a rally, you understand, against child abuse, abuse of youth, children, okay. um, early marriage and uh, all that. You understand? So I invited her for the um, campaign. You understand? She came and I saw her. She was looking so thin. Uh -uh. And I said, I shall kill her. She said, oh, sing, okay. And I said, okay. So I went for, to Ibadan for an event. So I invited her to go with me. When we got there, she called me. She said, they don't come. And I said, ah, keep she Aisha. She now told me she had cancer. Money, more She said, ah, what's up with stage four? Money, stage Kenny. Stage Kenny, how? That was how I got to know about it. Oh. Yeah. They already, it was later that I got to know that they had even told her that she was going to die before she left the country. Before she left Nigeria? Yeah. 
she knew she was going to die before she left the country. So she now told me when we got here, she went to me. She now told me that I want to mama to come back with you. I want doctor or night. I want to know mama to come me month with me February. Me take go back. Me she knew March. Me she was in March. Yeah. Said eh, Aisha. One of my cook. She said eh, stage four. In me, I didn't even know that when they stage four, it put it smoke. I didn't know. You understand? That was when she narrated them. In short, that day she told me, I love party in my joke. I'm like, K -k 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 -k. I don't know. 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 I don't you didn't know. You didn't. You know, girl, you know. It is well. Ah, I know. I but know. she died a fulfilled mother. If you watch the video, she was very lean, but she was happy. She was smiling. I saw one of the videos that she was hugging the children, uh -huh. and I think I saw that one when I came. Yeah, time. she was. She died a happy woman. She was smiling. Can you really? Can you cook them a smile? You understand? So you were with her when I was with her, and I made sure that nobody sees her eyes. Mm. Yes, I made sure oh. nobody, apart from her children, nobody sees her. Then she, uh, she went me that, yeah, nobody. No, make sure we was anybody to read. Then maybe her cousin that came, yeah, she saw it. But I refused every other person to record it. You understand? Because I didn't like what they did to Mojelaya. Mm. You understand? Mm. These people have family now. You can't do that. So, and I'm glad I did it. Mm. So after the February that mm. she said they gave her, how long did she? I think she died in May. It was just like three months. After. Yeah, she died. She died in May. She got to this country in December. She died in May, May sixteen. <laughs> it was that early. But they tried. They tried. Oh no! I'll give it to uh, the Canadian government. They tried. No, they tried. The the doctors really tried for her. So. But it got to a stage, they told me that when they told me she was going to die in two days, they now said maybe they should put her on there. They told me that she has two days to die, that maybe they should put her on life support. But the doctor called me and said, Lola, if you ask us to put your sister in life support, they just punish her because she will still die. Because her, her, um, this thing is gone. Yeah. Brain, you understand? So, it yeah, it's shut down so that there is no need. So I want to wish Jakuru Kutufuku. Jakuru. And they were not saying so. Um, 